Hinman's possible violation of the Code of Federal Regulations, how does it affect Ripple versus SEC? How will this change the price of XRP? Stay tuned to find out. Before we get into the video, don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to enable all your notifications to our channel to keep up with all the hottest secrets in the world of XRP. Without further ado, let's dive in. The SEC's dispute with Ripple may not start until the new year, but that doesn't mean the XRP community is taking a rest. Many individuals are still trying to contact members of Congress or thinking about the implications of the current legal battle. However, crypto lawyer John Deaton, who represents thousands of XRP holders, made an unexpected surprise in the midst of it all. The information comes from a speech given in 2018 by William Hinman, the former director of the Division of Corporation Finance, in which he examined whether Bitcoin and Ether were securities transactions. Deaton cited the Code of Federal Regulations CFR, Section 2635.702, which prohibits the use of public office for private gain. He said, I think Bill Hinman could have used some legal advice before signing the sworn declaration filed by at SEC Gov. If his speech reflected only his personal opinion and was not guidance by the SEC, he is in violation of Title V. The above section of the CFR makes it plain that workers of government agencies cannot utilize their positions to gain personal benefits. Aside from the section given by Deaton, another condition was stated. Except as otherwise provided in this part, an employee shall not use or permit the use of his government position or title or any authority associated with his public office in a manner that could reasonably be construed to imply that his agency or the government sanctions or endorses his personal activities or those of another. But what does this signify in terms of SEC versus REPL? And what do these hitchhikers' thumbs signify? Remember that one of the main issues in the lawsuit was whether talks concerning the contents of Hinman's speech might be protected by the Deliberative Process Privilege, or DPP, defense? Another consideration was whether Hinman's comments could be used to assess XRP. Deaton is also wondering whether Hinman has the authority to give a speech about Ether's lack of security. Long-term investors believe Ripple will benefit from a non-profit watchdog's charges of bias against the SEC. The triumph of Ripple in the SEC lawsuit might spark a bull run in the altcoin. Ripple defies all odds by posting a weekly gain of 13%. Investors in Ripple are optimistic about the altcoin's victory in the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC case, against the payments behemoth. The SEC's conflict of interest in labeling XRP security while taking no action against Ethereum, the largest cryptocurrency, has drawn attention. The price of Ripple has increased by 13% in the last week, and analysts expect that the altcoin's upward trend will continue. Analysts are bullish on Ripple, and a good conclusion in the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit could be a bullish trigger. The Ripple price pattern was recently reviewed by cryptocurrency analysts from the YouTube channel CoinsKid. Ripple, according to observers, is reversing the double bottom pattern, seen in the last two weeks of July 2021. The price of Ripple has broken through the barrier at $0.83 cents and is now trading at $0.89. Cents. If the price of Ripple maintains on pace with the current trend, the expert believes it will break into a rally. On December 18, the Ripple price pierced through the descending trend line and has since surged 19% to a swing high of $0.97.1. Cents. While impressive, this rally could extend to a retest of the $1.01.5 and $1 cent resistance level. In a bullish scenario, the XRP price might reach $1.10.2 and collect the liquidity that is accumulated above it. That's good news. However, the remittance token surge is unlikely to continue, especially as BTC may have a modest retracement. The price of XRP may follow the price of the big crypto and endure a correction as a result of the correlation. Furthermore, the 19% gain recorded thus far has gathered liquidity in its immediate neighborhood and is expected to retrace slightly. If the price of Ripple falls below 68.8 cents, a lower low will be formed, undermining the bullish argument. The SEC versus Ripple case is expected to set a precedent for future regulatory actions and judicial judgments in the US. Ripple Labs and individual defendants Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse have attempted to persuade the court presided over by magistrates Sarah Netburn and Annalisa Torres, that the SEC failed to prove fair notice under U.S. securities rules. 
the Securities and Exchange Commission has made a number of measures that could be seen as inconsistent along the road. Aside from that, the fact that the agency hasn't offered regulatory clarity for market participants may influence a prospective settlement agreement between the parties or the court's decision. Two of the five current SEC commissioners have been stones in Chair Gary Gensler's shoe, as is commonly known in the industry. Hester Pierce and Elad Roisman are the two officials in question. Elad Roisman, on the other hand, has recently stated his intention to leave the SEC. Serving the American people as a commissioner and an acting chairman of this agency has been the greatest privilege of my professional life. It has been the utmost honor to work alongside my extraordinary SEC colleagues who care deeply about investors and our markets. As a result of his resignation, SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce would likely be left alone to confront the SEC's animosity toward the digital asset industry, as Ripple phrased it. You'll have to do it alone. SEC Chair Gensler said, While we didn't always agree on policy matters, I've come to rely on his judgment and expertise, and I've enjoyed a positive working relationship with him. Pierce and Roisman issued a joint statement in July 2021 in response to a court judgment in a crypto case, using the occasion to criticize the SEC's regulation by enforcement policy. Pierce advocated a sandbox for the crypto ecosystem in which network developers would be immune from federal securities regulations for three years, during which time they would be able to launch their businesses and develop their networks via token transactions. Under SEC Pierce's suggestion, token transactions would not trigger securities regulation rules if network maturity had been attained at the end of the three-year time frame. Last month, Ripple accepted the sandbox concept and defended it before Congress and said, the current uncertainty in the US regulatory landscape discourages innovation and could cause a brain drain in the cryptocurrency and blockchain space. In order to incentivize innovation and inform the development of a clear and consistent regulatory framework for cryptocurrencies, we believe innovation sandboxes should be encouraged. Investors believe Ripple will reach an agreement with the SEC. Recent news reports have also been optimistic, with some speculating that a substantial punishment would suffice to satisfy the SEC. There's plenty of room for growth, with an all-time high of $3.35 and a current price of under $1. It's possible that news of a positive outcome will push XRP to a new high. This would provide Ripple with the wherewithal to pay a substantial fine. What are your thoughts on Ripple? Will they settle? With this, we have come to an end. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered as financial advice. We all know that the crypto market is highly volatile and by the time you watch this video, the prices would have changed to a whole new level. So, all the financial decisions should be made after doing your wide spectrum research. Make sure that you like this video, comment down your thoughts regarding this video and also do not forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated about the latest crypto news.